Hi everyone, this is Melissa Chung and today I'll be going over an instructional video on creating a lesson plan for our third grade science lesson on the life cycle of a butterfly. Today I'll be discussing lesson at a glance, a breakdown of the standards and time frames in order to create this lesson plan, along with the Google lesson slide that the students will be utilizing in order to um, do this lesson on their own in groups. I then will also be discussing Pixton, which is a comic strip software that is free online that you can use in the classroom. Here are the Science Common Core curriculum standards for third grade, if you want to pause the video and look at that. And then we have the 90 minute lesson plan overview. For the first 15 minutes of this lesson, we will be discussing what the word metamorphosis means. Next, we will uh, read The Hungry Hungry Caterpillar. After that, I will talk about the different stages of the butterfly and why it is important on the board. Next, I will be putting the students into groups of four with six to eight students in each group. And then I will quickly go over the Google Slide lesson plan on the Google Classroom so that way the students know where they can find their resources for research. Um, and then we will have 30 minutes where each group will work on their Pixton comic. And at the end of the lesson, the last 15 minutes, the students will then do a Google lesson form for an assessment. First thing they will be looking at is a video of the life cycle of a butterfly. This is just a quick four minute animation um, where it goes through the stages from egg to adult. And then we have three books that are linked to Epic Books where the students can find more information on the life cycle of a butterfly. The last one here has different species of butterfly that will help be helpful for the students to choose which one they want to talk about. And then we have three kid-friendly websites that all talks about the life cycle of a butterfly. And then finally, we have um, where the students will click on the link to get the directions on what they're supposed to be doing on Pixton. And then they also have their Google form to fill out here. So the first thing you wanna do to get started with Pixton is to click or log on to um, Pixton.com. Then you will set up a free account, which you will then choose your avatar. You can pick their outfits and what they um, look like. And once you have your avatar, then you can get started on your on creating a comic strip. Have created your account. You will then see um, this dashboard which says, um, create now my comics. These are all the ones that I've already done. So we're just gonna go to create now. So I can give you kind of a quick overview on how this works. Now, what you can do with your comic strip is you can start off with a background. Now you can choose a background like by just typing something in. So say you wanted forest, it'll give you different forest pictures if that's what you wanted to use for your comic strip. So I'm just gonna use this one because that's how what I used for my um, example. And now you're gonna choose your character. Now there are many different characters you can choose from. Since I am going to be a student, um, I'm going to choose this boy here and you can choose focus where you can choose where you want your camera angle to be for your comic strips. You can be really close or you can be a little bit farther away. You can choose and then you can do your words. This is the bubbles that you want for your character to say. You can choose a different kind of face. And then lastly, you have your actions. Now, you can choose which action you want your character to have. You could be on the left, you can be on the right, turning the opposite way. You also have the ability of moving your character. So say I wanted him that way. 
I can adjust him on the page to see where I want him to go. All right, so that's how it works. Just add extra panels once you have completed one. And again, you choose the background. If you want to keep it, you have your characters, how you want it to be focused, whether or not you want to add a caption, um, your face expression, and the action in which your avatar will be in on each panel. Okay, and here is the final of one of the stages of the life of a butterfly. I chose the egg as my example. So as you can see here, I have my avatar discussing which species um, my group has chosen, which is the red spotted purple butterfly, where they are located and how long um, their life cycle is and a red spotted butterfly looks like. And then I talk about which stage that I plan on doing. Now, uh, obviously it says it in the title, but this is where the student would put it in their panel. And then I have a close up of what a red spotted purple butterfly's egg looks like. And then I have a fun fact. I added what the scientific name was for the red spotted purple butterfly, and then an outro or a conclusion to my comic. So there you have it, a completed comic strip that isn't very difficult that a lot of students could probably do um, within a group and with help from the teacher. Right, there you have it. Thank you so much for watching this instructional video. Oops. <laughs> have a great day and thanks again. Bye.